Hello investors, this is a presentation on Axis Bank. Hello viewers, this is a video on Axis Bank. Brought to you by Smart Investor. Subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos. Click on the bell icon for new video notifications. Axis Bank at a glance, it is India's third largest private bank in India. It has 4,700 branches. It has 86,250 employees and fifth straight year constituent of FTC for market share of 5% in assets, 4.6% in deposits, 5.7 advances. Digital banking segment, it has 15% share in UPI, 15% in mobile and 12% in CIF. In profitability, the company has 3.53% net interest margin. It has 2.15% cost assets and 2.22% operating profit margin. The balance sheet has 18.72 CAR and 15.3 CET. It has cumulative provisions for 134 billion, which is 2.03%. Key subsidiaries include Axis Capital, growth in Axis Securities at 48%, growth in Axis AMC, PAT at 54%. Access Finance ROI with near zero restructuring 19.8%. Key metrics of Q3 FY22 is given here a snapshot as on 31st December 2021. Net interest income up by 12%, fee income up by 26%, operating expenses 31%, and operating profit is at 5%. The net profit is at 128%. The total assets in Q3 FY22 include 20% year-on-year growth, net advances has shown 17% growth, total deposits at 20% and shareholders funds at 12%. The deposits have gone up by 22% year-on-year, advances have gone up by 17% year-on-year, profit after tax has gone up by 224% year-on-year, now stands at 3,614 crores. Provisions have come down by 64%. Retail banking has shown a tremendous growth. It has got 27.5 million customers, fourth largest issuer of credit cards in India, second largest player in merchant acquiring. It has 2.7 trillion assets under management, 83% CASA plus RTD ratio, 67% sourcing from ETB, 24% year-on-year growth in SA QOB deposits, 18% year-on growth in advances, 65% share in total fee collected. The company has uh, 1.72 million CIF, inclusive of Flipkart Access Bank co-branded credit card. It has shown a 70% increase in monthly activity rate and 23% higher spend per card as compared to industry. Access Bank has credit card spends up 52% year on year. Retail cards market share improves further, 61% quarter on quarter growth in transactions, 120% quarter on quarter increase in GMV. Detailed card market share continues to improve steadily and currently it has 24,142 crores, a 50% jump on year on year, 22% on quarter on quarter. The trend in debit card spends include for Q3 FI22, it stands at 15,364 crores. Company is now the second largest merchant acquiring bank led by one axis focus include product liabilities and partnerships. It has got 42% incremental market share in QMF FI22, 40% growth in Axis Bank, point of sales terminals in third FI22, in third quarter FI22, leading to 315 BPs increase in market share. The company has a very strong and well diversified distribution network. The branches, number of branches stand at 4,700. Branch presence across categories, metro, urban, semi-urban and rural. Calibrated approach towards new branch additions across focused regions added 106 branches in 9 month FY22. Aligned to our Bharat banking strategy, specific RUSU branches follow an asset liability model. Dedicated asset risk managers for fulfillment of all loan leads at select branches. Select platinum branches to cater SPV customer base. Access.
with 5 million customer connect, it has 1500 virtual RMs and 6 centers. Corporate and commercial banking activity has grown up by 13% year on year growth, 20% year on year growth, and 44% year on growth in mid corporate book. 36% share of short term loans to overall corporate loans, 87% share of corporate advances to clients rated A and above, incremental sanctions to A and above at 92%, 27% year on year growth on QAB deposits, first, first, first rank in DCM for rupee bonds, and 8% market share in GST payments. Strong relationship led franchises driving synergies across one axis entities. Strategic client group, large corporate accounts, government coverage, multinational, mid corporate, commercial banking, and financial institution group and structured assets. The company has presence in transaction banking, loans and deposits, treasury, capital markets, and investment banking through Axis Capital, linkage to retail bank, wealth management, Burgundy, and salary accounts of employees through Axis Finance Axis MI. The bank has become a reliable partner throughout the business life cycle. The companies continue to have penetration of nine or more products and services across top corporate relationships, including two services offered by subsidiaries. The digital banking outfit of Access Bank has been uh, transforming into a silent revolution. 78% credit cards issued, 76% digitally active customers. 71% new SA acquisition, 68% fixed deposits opened, 52% PL disbursed, 46% new MF SIP sales, and 4.6 million application ratings. 140 million customer base, 5.4 million non access bank accounts using access pay apps, 40% contribution of TTP channels to overall sourcing of cards. Company moving to data architecture. Big data clusters developed on Hadoop with petabyte scale data, 150 plus use cases deployed across credit, fraud, marketing analytics, and cloud decision platform. Multiple machine learning based credit models developed, 2000 attributes considered, up to 120% lift on GINI over general bureau metrics. The data stack of the bank is given here. It has got a streaming analytics, data science, ML, and business intelligence. Structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data is used for analysis. On-the-fly elasticity, separation of compute from storage. Bank has UPI scaled tremendously to become a key channel partner for customer transactions. It has got 278 million cumulative UPI base, 12 lakh merchant transactions per day on the stack. Marquee partnerships include Google Pay, Amazon Pay, WhatsApp Pay, Phone Pay, and others. UPI transactions have gone up as a pair of PSP. UPI P2M throughput is now at 89,819 crores. The bank has been reshaping the workplace, access new talent pools in hiring 44% women, 46% non metro, 53% non banking, enabled delivery of strategic projects through skilled freelance contributors. Strengthened employee stickiness through flexibility, identified cost savings through space specialization. Significant value creation happening on three group entities include Axis Mutual Fund, 75% stake, Axis Capital, 100% stake, Axis Finance has 100%, Axis Security is 100%, Axis Trustee is 100%, Free Charge is 100%, At Free Dates at 67%, Max Life at 12.9%. Shareholding pattern of the bank include FIS include 46%, Indian institutions 29%, GDRs 2%, LIC holds 7.98 and UTI holds 1.52, others 12.36. Mutual funds have continued to repose interest in the bank and has increased the stake in the last four quarters. FIS have also continued to hold the stake in the bank above 50%. The one-year performance of the bank has given a return of 8.81%, currently trading at 779. The returns in the last one year include 8.3% over one year, 5.3% six months, 9.4% one month, 13.5% in the last three months. 
Why do we recommend Axis? Axis is a leading private bank. It has recently bought City Bank's India Retail Unit for 2.5 billion, which will increase the business. The bank has a year high of 866 and a year low of 626, currently trading around 790 levels. Buying around 750 levels could be a good opportunity for target price of 1000 in the next one year. Investors can start an SAP on this and try to buy on all dips. Thanks for